we'll jump straight in to the face detector. We have this eye tracking app. Anyway, we have a bunch of files on it. Where's the main file? Obviously, we have this index uh, HTML. There's not much in it. Ah, no. I mean, there is much in it. We're using uh, we're using TensorFlow.js and Blaze Face. This is instead of using uh, MediaPipe. Uh, in Python, I want to move everything uh, to the front end. Currently, there's no pupil detected, so there's eyes face detected, as you can tell. But we want to do pupil detection because this is, even though uh, it's called eye tracking, it's uh, actually meant to be called pupil tracking. Go quickly over this code. We know what is it doing. We're already running running the application. This is how the front page looks like. A image uploaded. So you have the image as well. If we can quickly go over it and we would like to keep developing, I'll be sharing all the rest of the files as well. There's a bunch of JavaScript files coming. We're also using face model, video stream JS, face detection, drawing utils. Yes, we're using drawing utils as well. So we're using all these files. They obviously need the, we just refractured the, refractured? Refracted the whole uh, code. We had a very long file prior to this. Okay, this is pretty much the whole code. Let me know if anything is missing. Continue developing it uh, so that the right and left pupils are actually detected. I hope the plural of pupil is pupils, considering, well, you know what I mean? Yeah, English is funny like that. And by the way, this session is meant to be interactive, so if you have any comments, funny comments or anything uh, you would like to say, don't hesitate to share your opinion. Well, the pupils are currently not being detected at all. Pupils. Yeah, that's right. They're, I'm not wearing glasses, so that should not be a problem. There's no glare or anything. It uh, used to work with the Python code sometimes. So I don't see why it's not working at all. Can we show in the front panel the whole processing? that uh, we are doing with this application so essentially we want to show separate eyes how each eye detected and uh, how the pupil is detected within the eye if it's grayed out are we using graying out no um yeah can you explain the pupil detection uh, mechanism and uh, suggest how to improve it so it's actually working it's like something have changed do you have the whole code all the necessary bits can you provide recommendations that are specific to the code but the detect pupil function doesn't seem to work we would like to troubleshoot wait we actually do have the pupil detected in console but because there's no a pupil detected i don't actually see anything so for some reason the console log is not showing anything uh, here's the relevant code again are you going to be doing the coding or provide prompts for github copilot or how do you suggest going about it i need this code updated first of all first of all let's focus on the fact that the console log is not showing can you check that is this correct no can face detection 927 okay let's do that remove that console log let's run it again for a sec should be getting yeah the width or height of the eye region is zero so that's not cool it's line 78 so it means that condition wasn't met so there is no image data for the eye region and why would that be the case i wouldn't know and i wouldn't let know because the bot would not tell me what the problem is so where is this function being called the eye region is not right what's the main js 
detect pupil, right eye, left eye. And where is this coming from? Draw eye. And why are we doing the check if the pupil is there or not? I wouldn't know. No, we are. Draw pupil. No, we're only checking. Okay. Yeah, we're doing a pupil not detected. But the problem, the actual problem is that there is no eye detected. Is that the case? Okay, we can get rid of that. We have the same image the face detection spotted in i'm not sure pretty sure something changed uh, with the with the site with the openai.com the chat window yes something is going on i don't know maybe the ceo was kicked out again oops log the hell out of everything we have the landmarks it's for the face detection. I'm pretty sure this stuff um, has um, face, eyes, ears. Yeah, we'll have those uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six points. So the eyes are there. Uh, face size. Face size is not there. Uh, that's interesting. Ah, the robot should be able to solve it. So we got the eyes now and i think we even got the yeah, left left people not detected yeah it is the left i don't know it's just weird but that's okay yeah the pupils are there yeah there's something like a reflection or something so it's detecting the darkest uh, region it's pretty good it's a bit off yeah, it's funny the um, the uh, Python algorithm was doing the other eye better than this one. I don't know why they are in this green that is hard to see. I wonder what it will uh, make of it. Let's just upload the images, but it's pretty decent. Could be improved, obviously. Yeah, it might require uh, like calibration and stuff. Yeah, this one is off. The eye is off as well. Normally, yeah, the eyes are okay, but uh, yeah. So it will right people not detected, left people not detected. So that's working perfect, but that's not. It's kind of obvious. Just a sanity check. Um, can you see any issues with the pupil detection? Well, the good thing it's working now, so that's great. But uh, can we somehow improve the pupil detection and also maybe make it better? How about uh, having another canvas that will just show the eyes uh, with the pupil in it so we want to make it uh, bigger on the front panel and also again i already mentioned it but we want to show exactly how the pupil is being found so how the image is being the video footage is being processed exactly we want to display everything ideally on the front panel and i think can you go over the code and uh, list all the magic numbers that we currently have i potentially want to add them as controllers on the front panel yep so yeah there's a couple of funny business but it's generally working okay it's not very oh the bot i'm pretty sure they're making uh, changes as we speak so you get a lot of errors like that might need to wait or refresh the page i don't know uh, bo -bo 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 -bo. what do you say do we wait uh, we could use a uh, github copilot that would be nice we can do some more testing that would be good as well we we'll, by the way have another camera be good to know if uh, it's probably too big is it 
Oh, come on, this is silly goose. Yeah, obviously the um, resolution of this camera is not great. And it's um, 30 FPS. But just that's the point that we're trying to make. That even with 30 FPS, a uh, low res uh, camera, we still can um, achieve a fairly good uh, eye tracking. It's like jumping colors. Yeah, like in this one, the eyes way off. So I don't know if it's the. This one seems to be. It meant to be finding the darkest point in the image. Are you suggesting that it's darker in that green? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the pupil is down there. It's like a bit off. In both cases, GPT-4 is not working. Why aren't you working? Oh, come on. Okay. It's probably a good uh, time to do a plug for the website. Yeah, if you haven't checked it already, please go do so. Uh, all the tools we eventually develop available on bionicchaos.com. Yes, there's some ads. I mean, advertisers. <laughs> come on, I will put, give me relevant ads to the content or for whatever I'm searching for. But what's this ad for? There's a um, clock. It says Australia. Why? <laughs> yeah. We love ads, don't we? Yeah, this one is irrelevant, so we might close it. <laughs> I don't mind relevant ads, but uh, don't give me this crap. Anyway, sorry. Should have said it. Um, before I get cancelled on uh, Google. Anyway, we're doing this eye tracker. It's working pretty well. It's a bit off at the moment. I'm trying to improve it. But GPT-4, when just just died on us, uh, let's try regenerate. We already tried regenerating 12 times. It's not happening, probably. There's something going on with the uh, OpenAI website. It's on my face. This is... Uh, let's do it. Oh, quick overview. Originally, we have this tool, eye tracker in written in Python with the media pipe library. They work better, but they are heavy on my machine. So I moved them, uh, uh, moving them into JavaScript. So it's uh, quicker, can run in any browser. Uh, so once uh, I make it available on the website, uh, hopefully this week, I always say that and it's never this week, it's always next week or next month, or something. but uh, yeah, it will become available on the website so you can test how well it's working on your machine in your browser. Currently we're trying to improve this, so we have these uh, images where the eye tracker is a bit off. It meant to, we also want to show exactly what is it, it doing, how is it finding it, and it's actually based on the code. It's not working quite as expected. It meant to be finding the darkest region in the eye, which meant to be the pupil. Um, uh, yeah, so currently, as you can tell, well, in this case, it's stuffed up the eye detection. Um, so we're detecting the face, well, nose, mouth, um, ears, Ears, yeah, ears. Those are ears detection, so that's working fine. Yeah, there's also some things about eye tracking with uh, face orientation where it gets uh, stuffed up, and also lightning, lighting, lighting. So I don't know if I uh, give it a bit more light, it's a bit better. I don't know. No, that's missing the eye. Well, we can make a few assumptions. We'll assume that. Two eyes are always visible. Yeah, there's no eye there, obviously. Uh, yeah, we'll remove the ears mouth. A uh, one display. We'll probably have another display here. Another canvas. It's called canvas. That will show all the processing. I already tried regenerating uh, GPT-4 like 14 times. Ah, seems something has gone wrong. Is there a common thing? People are googling it. 
6th December 23. Is this on? I didn't know OpenAI has a community. That's good to know. Yeah, people getting this, uh, some errors with the APIs, but I haven't been using the API. I was considering it, but if people are getting errors in it as well, well then there's no uh, point. Yeah, it's really strange. Yeah. Well, apparently people have been having this problem since um, last year. It seemed to be running and everything. If I press this regenerate button, does it make any difference? It's funny how while it's generating, I can actually, oh, can do, can stop generating and then do, I think that's what one of someone in the blog said, but that didn't work. That's really frustrating. Okay, I can try refreshing the page. That's only one option. It's funny how when it's generating the input the text boxes there, this is hopeless, isn't it? Uh, it's amazing how um, you get addicted to using GPT-4. Just close the window for a sec. Start a new one. No, as in, I don't want to start a new one. I've already spent quite a lot of time on this one. I want it to look hopeless. Okay, let's try GitHub Copilot. I mean, the obvious disadvantage is that you cannot upload the images onto it. That's kind of unfortunate, but supposedly it's better at writing code. So we can explain what we have so far. Basic detection application, several function, load model. Yeah, we're loading this uh, face model. It's in uh, face model JavaScript. So that's what's finding the face. Can remove some uh, console logging. Doing a lot of console logging at the moment. So the left eye, right eye, landmarks. And I wanted to do more. What? Is it detecting a face on my hand? This is super bizarre. <laughs> what? I can't reproduce. But I can't reproduce it. It's detecting like two faces and like six eyes, uh, eight ears. I'm still detecting an eye and a pupil on my hand. Yeah, it's not working very well. But then, yeah, like NVIDIA, I have some older videos. Yeah, I don't want to mention specific companies. A big company that makes GPUs uh, made this uh, eye. You know, yeah, you need, they're saying it's a free tool, but it's actually not free because you need the, the GPU for it to work. But I make this like thing where you can, uh, you know, read script and it will look as if instead of looking on the teleprompter or if you don't have a teleprompter, you will be looking on the screen and it will fix your eyes as if it's looking directly into the camera, which is quite creepy anyway, even at normal times. But especially when... But especially, um, especially because it doesn't actually work. Um, so they, so if that huge, ginormous company is stuffing things up, talking about ginormous company stuffing things up, um, seems like uh, the CEO was kicked out again uh, because GPT-4 just stopped working. It's not fun. Anyway, we have a bunch of files and we have the eye tracking app. They have the CSS. We need to check the CSS, by the way. We might do it later. Here we have one, two, three, four, five a JavaScript files, a HTML, and a Flask application. But the Flask application is currently not doing anything because, well, I don't need your face. You can keep it to yourself. And uh, so eventually, uh, when it runs, it will be running on your browser. So front end, uh, no back end. Uh, we still do a Flask application just because, just so we have an option to do more things on the server. This is mainly if we have, uh, um, if you actually pay for this tool and you want it improved, customized, so on and so forth. Yes, we can definitely do more stuff on the server for you.
also we have this drawing style this does this funny drawing business draw pupil why they are in green we don't want them in green i don't know what color do we want them in if you have suggestion of a good color i mean red is always a kind of obvious color to use well it's actually much better can actually see stuff 